this is courtesy of Shade Room. Um, one of my favorite UK artists, M. Hunter, unfortunately got himself in a bit of a pickle where allegedly one of his um people in his circle leaked a video um essentially unmasking him, right? Because M. Hunter is one of those artists in the UK who dons a mask for privacy reasons. Um and he's been pretty adamant throughout his entire journey that the whole reason why he puts a mask on is so that he can go and do and conduct his life as per normal. He has aspirations to sort of maybe leave the limelight behind and become a bit of an exec behind the scenes. And, you know, he just generally values his privacy more than being famous, which is all well and good. And I think for the most part in the UK, maybe less so, maybe if in the US it would be different, but you do have a feeling we, don't, we tend to leave people alone for the most part who want to be left alone. Um, I think they the era of like you know the sun destroying certain celebrities lives has kind of gone maybe there is an aspect of it still with social media but there isn't that kind of fervent desire to kind of know the ins and outs of every single person that you kind of look or that you see on tv or on the radio if they don't really want to talk to the press and they're kind of private you sort of lead them to their own devices as long as the music is good you don't really ask too many questions and for the most part i'm honcho is probably one of the best artists that we have here in the uk all around um you know from rapping straight up to singing uh, melodies to his you know beat selection he's just one of the best he's probably one of my favorites and somebody that i can't wait to see live once the world reopens so this kind of unfortunate story obviously was um shared on you know various uh, uk blogs it says the following a friend of dutch Valley allegedly responsible for leaked uh, video of m honcho so that's a new development so this video comes out leaks all over the internet he's gone viral everyone knows what m honcho looks like and immediately when i saw it i was just like this is bullshit i'm not going to look at this in it because i respected of course the artist's uh choice to remain anonymous and i didn't really understand why everyone was so some people were so desperate to see what he actually looked like of course i get the secrecy and the illusion of it all um, is one thing but when somebody goes out of the way to tell you hey i just want to live my life in privacy why don't just let them do it that doesn't happen it gets leaked it is what it is and then people are wondering who would leak something like that who would in dutch in sorry in M. Honcho's circle would be that much of an idiot to kind of jeopardize their position within the crew and obviously their overall safety just for a couple of likes and retweets on social media. Then, of course, this headline comes out about it allegedly being a friend of Dutch Avelli's, which makes sense because earlier on in the year or last year, actually, Dutch, of course, got himself involved in a bit of a scandal with the alleged nonce gate situation. And I guess M. Honcho was one of the only people it felt like, hmm, I guess, prominent artists that came out um, and equivocally without really mentioning Dutch's name and basically was, you know, kind of demolished ad, ad, don, ad, admonished him for the alleged uh, crimes that he did or did not do according to the mom or the sister or the brother whoever you believe in the story and um I guess Dutch Valley's crew didn't take too kindly to that. So they decided one of the people in his crew, so allegedly this guy here on the left, decided to leak the video of, of uh, M. Honcho as a sort of reminder that you shouldn't talk ill of pedos in public. I don't know what it was, but regardless, whatever he intended to do, did the complete opposite from what I feel like. So this is uh, from um, Shade Borough. It said, the friend of Dutch Valley allegedly responsible for leaked video of M. Honcho. The caption said, the man responsible for the leaked footage of M. Honcho identity without the mask is said to be a very close friend of the rapper Dutch Valley. The video, which is circulating on social media, revealed M. Honcho's face whilst in the studio with some friends. Marv took to his Instagram stories to defend himself, saying that he didn't do it for clout. Imagine saying you didn't do something like that for clout. That is a personification of clout. You standing like that, right, with your thumbs in your jeans next to Steph London and Dutch Valley like that is clout, right? The whole thing is clout. <laughs> but hey, what can you do? Uh, let's, let's see what you have to say. Um, he says, nope, M. Honcho ain't innocent. I'm not, uh, ain't innocent, nothing. Screenshot here said, hold on, wait a minute. And then he posts a screenshot here showing uh above it it says see be careful what you're saying i don't miss nothing and in a screenshot you've got uh, a caption with m Honcho that says track louis vuitton lost hope of the dna mixtape and then um someone comments underneath that and says have you made a track with a nonce allegedly uh kind of pointing to dutch and he says i did i have any knowledge of that at the time question mark did you have any knowledge of that at the time question mark or did you find out last week right so I, again this doesn't make any sense because if that's the case if that's the reason why he decided to upload a video of Emonjo's face he didn't even say nothing bad about the guy right he just basically said i didn't know nothing about the situation keep moving but underneath it, it says 
um snatchy is always trying to get a a gig riding is no form of transportation it says the following screenshot here the funny thing is i never did this for clout it's obviously clout this is, why else would you do this if you're one of dutch Betty's boys who no one knew right no one knew you as outside of the situation now all of a sudden you're plotted all over the place even i'm covering you right and i'm a nobody but now you're somebody <laughs> of course it's just for clout um so because simply i don't need to you funny little super groupies are creepy and weird to me i can enjoy the music without being a super fan lol i give zero shits about the industry if you know then you know i step down from two up down because i don't really on this running around all day every day 24 7 that's the truth so you're lazy and you just want to get likes and retweets on social cool makes sense no one gives a shit about clout that's when you're involved when you mention clout two times in one screenshot of you writing words and probably you love clout um to be involved in the world of insta which is not real that's what happened when the truth is no one wants to be trolled okay again it's, it's, it's interesting just how little sense some of these people make when they actually try and write words down in it it's very interesting especially the hangers on they you know they always standing next to pictures smiling you know enjoying the riches of their way more talented and successful friend and in the moment they get the chance to speak for themselves you realize why they don't speak more often in it you realize it continues here and what i've proved today is everyone is happy to have their say dare say okay uh grandma there but hey who cares and say their piece until you flip the same attention onto them then it's a problem use your platforms wisely so he's trying to basically say because that m hunter was willing to come out and say something about an alleged nonce now somehow he's feeling uncomfortable about having his face revealed that he didn't want to be revealed. like this doesn't make any sense like again this is this logic is weird and say their piece that the uh clout you know is rolling eyes emoji this industry is fake to me no one is friends in music because you're all in competition with each other which is true but you know if you're in competition with a nonce you've probably won already if you're not a nonce in it right if if a nonce if a nonce and a non-nonce have a race who wins the non-nonce all the time i don't care if you're faster the non-nonce always wins because you know by the time you cross the line you're probably going to get your head kicked in isn't it i'd imagine i don't know um, it's all about who does the biggest uh number who had the most streams who's getting all the awards uh you're getting for the guy uh, uh who's getting all the awards you're the guy on the phone will ring a and r's will be circling like sharks that smell blood making all types of promises surrounded with all fake artists who now want to be your friend because you're the guy holding the torch if you're popping and i'm popping let's hang around you together la hello or nah i'm good where i am speak my mind i don't live in fear you can't troll me because i don't give a shit i try to be i try to but i just can't because all the wave surfing but everybody is trying to be on a surfboard bruv did this guy this guy dropped out of school in year six or something jesus christ bruv um so i guess he's basically trying to say that everybody that was dutch's friend prior to the allegations all jumped off and they were all then circling like snakes trying to take his position because it felt like he was a wounded animal effectively his career is somewhat over in it dutch Avelli. as much as i like the guy and you know you shouldn't be condemned due to just allegations alone the evidence is pretty alarming isn't it about the whole nonscape thing even if he didn't do it especially again the issue he has with dutch i guess there's a lot more it's less i don't know why in the uk yeah you as you say less because you look what happened to six nine he had that underage girl thing and he kind of got away with it there seems to be it's a way bigger taboo in the uk to be involved in anything involving minors at all in any way shape or form it doesn't really matter like you if you have just a hint of that smudge in your name is pretty difficult to ever get it off so with dutch Valley obviously being a prominent rap star and it being something very uncommon you would definitely hear from a kind of the quote-unquote rap hip-hop community it's just gonna always stick on him and unfortunately for good or for worse so to somehow suggest that people that were his friends prior jumping off the wave are what looking for clout their snakes their sharks or rats whatever it may be called that's not necessarily fair in it because what do you expect them to do do you expect people to come out unequivocally and say that they don't think he is a nonce when they don't know 
and then have it be proved that he is and then have that smudge on their name it's just not worth it it really isn't there's enough there's enough artists out there for you to kind of co-sign in back and stand in videos around and pop balls and clubs with you don't need to kind of uh hitch your entire ride on the dutch valley train because sooner rather than later unfortunately it's probably going to come to a grinding halt because you know all the brands and companies are going to know that you know that smudge is very very difficult to get off you once it's on you um, another screenshot here said let's stop using dutch as a power move to get your name out there to start trending it's not funny you see when i start doing it back when you then you see it from your point then it's no then that then it's why me in it bruv what are you talking about you standing up for your friend is one thing cool but then revealing someone's face because what they decided to distance themselves from your friend is completely different this kind of backwards logic to explain shitty behavior is very unpleasant to read and watch. Um, it says, I'm not the one, I'm not with the online trolling at all, trying to bring another man down because all I want to know, like, if I fit in, don't be a sheep. The people who have made up their minds safe, the people who don't believe safe, but I'm seeing this cancel thing getting out of control. The truth always comes to light. Yeah, it does. But in this case, what's the truth, though? What can be explained from the mess that was? Again, this is a lot of kind of like, um, uh, this is a lot of... Uh, abdication of responsibility it feels like right because effectively dutch is the one that got himself in this issue in the first place he didn't handle the allegations well when they first kind of went viral right he didn't address it in the right way he was coming out on this bully boy thing bad man thing i'm gonna beat you up if i see you blah, 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 right which is understandable maybe behind the scenes he was hearing about the snakes and the people circling around trying to get him dropped from his label i don't know let's just say he was justified in that rage but at that time he should have been a bit more collected and gathered his thoughts properly spoken to his peoples whoever may be involved and got together a coherent story that could be, that could somehow explain the situation but because they came out with three or four different storylines, the mum is trying to draw him on via, you know, the the niece's flipping account. Uh, the some images were de deleted. The hacker um, purposely screenshotted the wrong things and make him look one way. There were so many different narratives coming out at once. Then the sisters got involved. Two of both of them. I didn't know he had two sisters. Um, I know obviously Stefan Dunn is his sister, but he's got another sister that looks like her. She got involved. Like it was madness that came out all at one time. That was his fault. And then by the time they got their story straight or whatever the story was, it was too late. The narrative has already been made, and especially in the internet and social media whatever you have to do from what i've little i've learned of keeping abreast of these people from the outside looking in you have to dictate the narrative at all times when the narrative starts to deviate away from you you have to rein that thing back in again you can't let it go out of control and then you know when people like imdbb come out and start talking indirectly about you and it starts gathering pace and then people start to you know that who's that guy that manager guy bouncer bully bouncer bacon whatever his name is he came out and said something like it was just a madness it was already too gone so this whole idea that somehow these artists are the ones that were the ones responsible for the cancel culture is not really true you kind of let people cancel you because you made it seem as if like you were guilty the whole going to dubai thing in the middle of it, it was just odd it was all odd but hey who, who knows he continues with that being said let it come to light and if you want to start bantering man be able to hold the banter back or just don't get involved i don't think being accused of pedophilia is banter and also don't think um people exposing your identity online when you don't want to be exposed essentially ducks in your face that isn't really banter in it that's not really my form of banter i would say but hey and of course you've got a picture here of Amonja's face and him being number trending on twitter so again an incredible shit show of a situation and like i said it hasn't really helped because look at this video this is a video here from uh, Shadebar as well. It's an image of Stefan Dunn takes on the Buster Challenge. Of course, you're all familiar with the challenge on social media. And, you know, she looks fairly attractive, you know, fairly attractive here. Very good looking girl wearing a great outfit to begin with, doing the whole thing, deciding to do the Buster Challenge and then change it to something spectacular. Right. And then obviously doing the action really, really good. Right. Twerking and stuff and shaking a booty and doing all the good stuff. So in theory, this is a fairly entertaining video that should just live on its own. But look at the comments. So all that exposing of him Hunter's face, look at the comments. It's done nothing. The, look at the first one. Didn't expect much from a colorist predator enabler and still disappointed somehow. Another one. She was better before. Okay, that's good. Uh, bust it all you want, but your brother won't bust his case. Right. Already. So all this stuff just three thousand six hundred and seventy nine likes 
So all this stuff that they're trying to do to distract everyone from um, the allegations against him aren't working. And if anything, they're solidifying in people's brains that he's 100% guilty, even if he might not be. So this is the issue that they have here. Like, it's just like it's such a shitty way to go about things, especially for somebody, someone like, especially if, especially exposing someone like M. Honcho, who from my experience looks like he's one of the rare people who get posted on these pages who kind of is universally loved. Everyone seems to have a good thing to say about him whenever he kind of, they post interview clips from of his or him doing a freestyle. There's always good comments. People actually like M. Honcho. So you go after somebody who's effectively the people's champ and then you try and use, you try and kind of expose him in an effort to, what, valid, validate your position, but then it ends up uh, having uh, having worse influence or ha the consequences end up being worse for you. And then they end up being an after effect felt by people next to you who aren't involved in the situation at all, vis-a-vis hey, -vis your sister. Look, it says here, it's pretending to drink for me. She says, why are people still being posted? Uh... Her fang was danging. I was waiting for Dutchavay to show up in the background. Like three hundred and eighty. She's a colorist, so stop. I don't know the colorist thing too. I haven't read that problem. This I don't know what's going on there. Um, um she's a colorist, so stop forcing her down her throat. She needs to be, um, bust a heart to heart with her brother Non Savelli. We ain't forgot hashtag. So again, like all these tactics, all these approaches they're trying to do in terms of effectively trying to silence people through this exposing thing it hasn't necessarily worked it's backfired in a major way and it's unfortunate too because it feels like Dutch Valley's career has effectively been cancelled it feels like by himself right he kind of fucked it over himself as much as he wants to blame everybody else it's effectively done it feels like everyone's always going to have something to say about those allegations and those individual stories now you'd hope once the world reopens people forget he would hope his group that's what probably they'll be thinking in you know behind closed doors once the world reopens and he's on stage again it, you can probably forget about it but i don't know man like the uk is again we're so sensitive about stuff involving kids it just doesn't seem like a certain thing people just conveniently forget about you know um especially considering how weird it all transpired uh but hey maybe i'm wrong i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions below what do you think do you think dutch's career is completely done um are you uh concerned or bothered about m honcho's uh, faith reveal and yeah just what go what happens from now going on let me know in your comments your thoughts exactly in the comments down below